Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. So we're going to have a look at whether the Europe for today's uh, first video. Yes, we brought the European outlook back a couple of weeks ago after a four-year uh, break. So uh, we're going to be doing a weekend forecast every Friday morning uh, for uh, for uh, Europe. And uh, I'll get on that for you very shortly. Just to say that coming up later on today, we're going to have uh, January Friday, as always on Friday. Month ahead look here. We've got a 10-day video update coming up as well, including all operating features. And then tonight we've got May's ENSO update. Um, I'll bring you update of everything happening in so wise in the actual Pacific Ocean. So that will be quite an interesting uh, watch. I would have thought, busy old day at Gals Love is today. So I hope you're enjoying uh, the content. I hope you will enjoy the content. Please uh, give us a like on the videos. Let us know in the comments uh, what you're thinking. And also, uh, don't forget to be subscribed to YouTube channel, especially for European Outlook and also for Weekend Forecast for America, which are YouTube exclusive. So we're not going to embed those onto Gals Love as a for the time being, which you can see how uh, they go. So um, you want to keep update with European Outlook on a Friday and the Weekend forecast for america on a thursday night subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when we release the videos right then so we're going to start off with weather for today across europe so much of northern europe is dominated by high pressure got a big area of high pressure a thousand thirty millibars sitting there across scandinavia and covering much of northern europe as well on the eastern side of this uh, ridge, we've got a trough, and that trough is pulling down much cooler air from the north across many eastern parts of Europe. And then as we extend out across the Mediterranean, where we see many of these central and eastern parts of the Med have got pretty weak pressure with some heavy showers and thunderstorms there, but it is a lot drier as we move out into the western parts of the uh, Mediterranean. Upper air temperatures look like that, so it's hot in the west today, especially across Spain and Portugal. Hot upper air temperatures there, and warmth extending up through some of the western parts of France into Ireland and the UK as well. But as we go over towards the eastern side of Europe, on the east of a ridge of high pressure, we've got much cooler upper air temperatures across much of northern and the eastern uh, Europe and also extending down into southeastern parts of Europe as well. Heavy showers and thunderstorms with those cooler temperatures in the east of Europe today. So from Poland eastwards over to Black Sea, it's going to be big showers and thunderstorms around. Some of those extending up towards west of Russia as well. And down into the eastern part of Mediterranean, so Greece, Turkey, with some big thunderstorms around today. And they extend into parts of Italy as well. Going further west into the Medbo, actually it turns mainly dry. Although there could be some heavy showers around the Côte d'Azur through the south of France. But really through much of the central part of Mediterranean, it's quite a bit of dry weather as there is for Spain and Portugal. And then that dry weather extends up the western side of Europe. So for the UK, for Ireland, much of France is going to be mainly dry. And then going over to Scandinavia and into western parts of Germany and the low countries, pretty dry conditions there. Temperatures today uh, look like that. So cool in the east. We're only going to be around 20, 21, 22 across much of eastern Europe. Those temperatures are below average, quite significantly so, from like northeast Europe all the way down to uh, the Balkans. It does get warmer as we come into Mediterranean, of course. There we'll see temperatures into mid-20 Celsius, but still down on where they should be at this time of year. Western parts of the Mediterranean looking a lot hotter, so much of Spain is going to be going up to around 90 Fahrenheit or more today. And then moving up into France, Ireland and the UK, I think there we're going to see temperatures knocking on the door of uh, 80 Fahrenheit in quite a few places. That takes us through to Saturday, and then high pressure is still dominating across Scandinavia on Saturday. So much of northern and western Europe looking anticyclonic. Looks much more unsettled on the eastern side of this ridge across eastern parts of Europe with this area of low pressure here on, uh, on the eastern side of the, the ridge. Upper air temperatures look like that, so still pretty warm up the western side, again, especially around Spain and Portugal, but also into the south of France, and even into UK and Ireland, the upper air temperatures are quite warm. But from Germany eastwards, the upper air temperatures do look quite cool. They're also pretty cool for northern parts of Scandinavia. And then down in the Med, it's definitely hottest in the west of the Med, coolest in the east. Big showers and thunderstorms again today from Italy going up towards southwestern parts of Russia. So heavy showers and thunderstorms on Saturday state across many eastern parts of Europe. In the north and west it will be uh, much drier there as we're dominated by high pressure. So most parts of Scandinavia looking dry and then that dry weather extending through the northwest and the west of Europe. The showers and the longer spells of rain with risk of thunder over on the eastern, southeastern side of Europe. Coolest temperatures in the east as well. We're barely reaching um, sort of the 15 to 20 across many of these eastern parts of Europe uh, tomorrow. So really suppressed temperatures where we've got those heavy showers and thunderstorms. Much warmer out in the west. Temperatures again low 
low to mid 20s widely on the western side of Europe and some parts of Spain will again be going into the uh, low to mid 30 Celsius. We get through into Sunday, and again, high pressure is in control across many northern parts of Europe. Uh, pressure remains weaker, though, across those eastern parts of Europe, so lower pressure through there. Upper air temperatures are looking like this. Pretty hot down in the Med, quite a lot of hot weather in the western part of the Mediterranean. Anyway, over in the eastern side of Med, it will be very warm in the eastern Med, but not as warm as you expect it to be. Moving further northwards, much of eastern Europe looking quite cool. Again, warmest upper air temperatures look like there in the western, particularly across northern Europe uh, for Scandinavia. So it's still a mainly dry scene across northern and western parts of Europe on Sunday. Plenty of dry weather coming up from Scandinavia down to the UK and Ireland and then through France, Low Countries, Germany and uh, many parts of the Baltic uh, Sea and those northeastern parts of Europe as well. Going further east and southeast, though, that's where we run into heavy showers and thunderstorms. So again, anywhere from around Poland through to the Black Sea, southwards through the Balkans towards Greece and Turkey, uh, Romania, all those sort of areas definitely at risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms as we go through into Sunday. The southeastern Med has heavy showers um, that they extending towards Italy. Go further westwards, though, there's a lot of dry, hot sunshine through many parts of the central bowl of the Med. Few rogue heavy showers around northern parts of Spain and into Portugal on Sunday. Temperatures are cool in the east still, so again, we're barely reaching around 20 across many of those eastern parts of Europe. Warmest in the west, and particularly in the southwest. Temperatures again in Spain definitely could be approaching 30 to 32, that's into the 90s Fahrenheit. Western uh, parts of Europe, so Spain, Portugal, Ireland, probably seeing temperatures there, sort of mid-20s at best, so that's very good uh, for the end of May. Moving through into Monday, very little change. High pressure remains in control across much of northwestern western Europe. We begin to lose the lower pressure, though, on the eastern side of Europe. So we may start to see the showers beginning to ease off there a little bit. Upper air temperatures look like that. Possibly things becoming slightly less cool over on the eastern side of Europe. But again, it really is in the west and the north that we've got those warmest upper air temperatures looking quite hot, for example, over Scandinavia with the upper air temperatures. And much as France, Spain and Portugal are uh, becoming hotter as well with those upper air temperatures. That's how precipitation is looking on Monday. So again, it's a dry scene for many northern and western parts of Europe, especially Scandinavia, UK, Ireland, much of France, Belgium, Holland, many parts of Germany, also Denmark, lots and lots of uh, dry weather through there too. We still have these heavy showers and thunderstorms on the eastern and southeastern side of Europe, so very little change there. I think the intensity of the storms may be easing down uh, a little bit by the time we get through to Monday, but nevertheless, still big, big showers on this eastern, southeastern side of Europe. Many parts of the Mediterranean are looking dry, from some heavy showers and thunderstorms across Italy and into the south of France, and maybe some kicking off over the Pyrenees into northern parts of Spain as well. But a lot of the meds should be dry, hot and sunny on Monday. Temperatures look like that, if anything, becoming hotter on the western side of uh, Europe. So we see sort of 30 to 33 uh, extending widely out of Spain in towards southern parts of France. It looks like it could be a warmer day for either the UK as well. Temperatures probably going back to the... Uh, sort of mid to upper 20 Celsius, maybe 27 parts of the UK on Monday. That's 81 Fahrenheit. Low countries, Germany, again, looking quite hot through there. And also up across Scandinavia, a bit of a heat wave uh, up there with temperatures, again, pa perhaps knocking on the door of upper 20s to maybe 30 degrees uh, across Scandinavia. Coolest temperatures are over on the eastern side of Europe. Tuesday sees a high pressure beginning to move out into the Atlantic. So just starting to turn wind a little bit more uh, northeastly, perhaps across northern Europe on uh, Tuesday. Upper air temperatures looking hot for many northern and western parts of Europe. Coolest upper air temperatures are in the east. It's beginning to turn a little bit cooler to the north of the British Isles as well. Fewer showers across eastern Europe. They are still bare and there is risk of some thunderstorms uh, as well, particularly from Ukraine now over towards uh, the Black Sea. Um, so east parts of Europe, yes, could be some heavy showers and thunderstorms through there. Otherwise, a pretty amount of dry weather uh, really across many central, northern and western parts of Europe. Again, could be some storms around the, uh, around the Pyrenees into southern parts of France. And maybe some heavy showers begin to break out across Scotland and Ireland as well, possibly a sign of uh, things to come later in the week. 
Temperatures look generally quite warm again across many northern and western parts of Europe, although you'll notice it is beginning to turn significantly cooler across uh, Norway, but much of Sweden over to Finland still looking very warm. And then the warmth extends down this western side of Europe again. Coolest temperatures are probably away from Norway anyway, probably across east parts of Europe. But I think gradually by the middle of the week, temperatures are beginning to stage a bit of a recovery across eastern Europe. Wednesday takes a high pressure further out into the North Atlantic. Uh, we are beginning to turn the wind into uh, the north now across northern and western parts of Europe. Our rare temperatures look like that, quite hot from uh, Spain through France up to Germany. Um, but out in the northwest, it's beginning to turn cooler. So parts of Scandinavia see the upper air temperatures beginning to cool down. It's beginning to cool down into the UK and Ireland as well. At the same time, though, upper air temperatures are starting to warm up over on the eastern side of uh, Europe. We've got heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking out from northern France up in towards Spain and Portugal and into the low countries and southern parts of Germany on Wednesday. Big thunderstorms up there. Some of them might extend through Denmark up to the Scandinavian Peninsula. Some showers still left across eastern parts of Europe. Maybe you to lose their intensity a little bit. And then through Mediterranean, a lot of dry weather as we go through into uh, Wednesday. The temperatures are looking like that on the surface. So so pretty warm across many parts of Europe, temperatures widely into the uh, mid to upper 20s Celsius, quite widely from the south up to northern parts of Europe. Though it is turning cooler across Scandinavia, temperatures beginning to lower back there to below 20s or even into the teens. And it's beginning to cool down across the UK and Ireland as well, with temperatures probably falling back into upper teens Celsius. And then on uh, Thursday, we develop an area of low pressure across Scandinavia as a high pressure goes up towards south of Greenland. That starts to pull down much cooler northerly winds, so you get a bit of a northerly blast coming into the north and the west of Europe. At the same time, those southerly winds could start to bring some hotter air up into the eastern side of Europe. Upper air temperatures looking like this. Definite cool down in the northwest, so Ireland, uh, much of the UK into Scandinavia, possibly some parts of northern Germany. We're beginning to see the upper air temperatures definitely cooling down as the wind turns into the north. At the same time, though, heat is building through the Med and starting to push more over towards the eastern side of Europe, perhaps. So it's turning much more unsettled later on uh, in the week as well as uh, we lose the high pressure and begin to get low pressure and most cooler winds digging in. So heavy showers and thunderstorms, really big storms possible through uh, much of France and going into Germany uh, as well and probably pushing over towards Poland. Heavy showers and thunderstorms around northern parts of Spain and some heavy showers and storms for Portugal as well. Many parts of Mediterranean though are looking dry and also quite dry in the southeastern part of the Med where early in the week it was unsettled. Scandinavia having heavy showers and then into the UK and Ireland. There could be some showers uh, around as those northerly winds begin to dig in. Temperatures cooling down in the north and the west. So for Scandinavia, we're seeing the temperatures dropping down into the mid teens Celsius. For Ireland and the UK, temperatures dropping down into the upper teens Celsius. France seeing temperatures dropping down sort of to uh, low to mid 20s Celsius, for example. But at the same time, eastern parts of Europe are starting to turn warmer there. Temperatures probably starting to rise in towards the mid-20s Celsius on Thursday. And then that takes us through to Friday. And on Friday, and I'll run you through today, 10 Friday, we've got low pressure in the uh, in the North Sea and across uh, southern parts of Norway. So cool northerly winds digging in across much of northern and western Europe. At the same time, warmer southerlies are beginning to push up onto the eastern side of Europe. Through to uh, Saturday, the 6th of June, uh, we see, again, very cool temperatures digging in across the northwest of Europe, looking quite unsettled as well across much of the north and west with heavy showers and thunderstorms. Driest weather could start could be starting to transfer onto the eastern side of Europe and the warmest temperatures could be there as well. And that takes up to day 10, uh, which is going to be the 7th of June. And by then, we're looking pretty uh, cool across many of these western parts of Europe with winds in from the north and with the risk of heavy showers as well in places. Maybe even some snow over mountains across Scandinavia, possibly northern Scotland. Going over to the east side of Europe, though, there, it does look a lot drier and temperatures probably quite a lot warmer too. So it's an interesting week coming up, starting off with high pressure bringing very warm and dry conditions to much of northern and western Europe, cool and very showery across the eastern side of Europe. By this time next week, we may well see a flip on that with the north and the west going much cooler and also very showery and many parts of uh, eastern Europe becoming drier and potentially starting to draw up some hotter air from the south into the east of Europe as well.
If you've enjoyed this weekend broadcast for uh, Europe, then please give us a like on the video. Let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll do it all over again on uh, Friday next week. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.